Hello, uh, it's Dave Neller, Silver Lake, Indiana. Uh, we are a contract grower for a major uh, lay laying outfit, ma major chicken operation, and uh, boy, they love it. No flies. We don't have to spray. Uh, it's good for the birds. It's good for us, and. It, it's a relief that we just don't have flies anymore. And the neighbors are happy. We probably spent, uh, oh, I would say, sometimes when the birds are big, we may be spraying maybe an hour a day, just fogging, fogging the house. And and now we probably spend, may, spend maybe, maybe 15 minutes, maybe every three to four days when we compost and we're in and out of the barn uh, there's the barn underneath is a lot cleaner less dust uh, the whole barn is cleaner and less uh, rodent, rodents too you don't have the mice like you did before And the volume reduction is probably somewhere reduced to about half. And when we put put it in the spreaders, take it out the field, we don't have to worry about where we spread it because uh, the flies don't seem to bother. They, so we can just about put it anywhere we want. And the sm smell is completely different. It doesn't stink like regular manure would smell. And it's a drier, drier in it, and it spreads out real thin and uh, it's not clunks wet like it was before and then you have trouble with flies when it's like that out in the fields. Now I understand you had a lawsuit against you and has that been? We had a lawsuit against us and and if we hadn't found this and done this we would have had major problems and could have been we would have been shut down or maybe shut down through the summer months but this way here We'd already done it, and the lawsuit was dropped. And all the neighbors around are happy. There are several homes around, some new homes, and there's no problem with the flies, so you don't have any trouble with your neighbors. Having the brown bear, we didn't. Uh agitated on the manure at all. All we did was, <clears throat> excuse me, was uh, spray and we start off spraying right at about 10 days, two weeks when the flies fly start hatching out and uh, it was constant spraying all the time and the uh, more the spray used to seem like the more the flies got used to it before you get to the end there, you know, you're just pretty well frustrated with the flies. We, we didn't have anything really to agitate the manure with beforehand. So. Okay, and then what are you doing now with your manure and your flies? With the brown bear now, we uh, do it every other day. We usually do it about a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with the manure. Just roll it over to cover up the maggots that are coming out of the manure, and that usually covers them up. And then along the edge of the walls, around the posts, we might go through periodically in spot spray if we see any maggot activity that we can't get with the orger. But uh, it's cut down our uh, bill as far as uh, spraying considerably, and you don't have to breathe in all those chemicals that you, uh, you know, you spray with your with flies and control. This uh, spreader hauled on the land. Uh, I would say our manure went almost 50% uh, reduction. Uh, we used to get 20 loads per coop and down to 10 or 11 now because it's so much drier and fluffier. Uh, you can get more on a spreader without having to worry about it falling off or slopping down the road because the manure is that much drier. Uh, neighbor's relation, uh, been pretty decent. Um, maybe at first you might have a little bit more smell, but uh, once you get that cycle broke after the first week or so, I think uh, your straw is uh, and your sawdust is going to take care of the composting. It's going to 
what it's supposed to do with the nitrogen, and once you get rid of that nitrogen, uh, it seems to be working pretty good. We had uh, you had dartland beetles in there. Now that you're agitating this manure up, you don't you are eliminating that dartland beetle, and also uh, all at the end of the the batch you'd have uh, feed spills that would just probably set there, and you'd have more mice getting into the coop and then reproducing all the time. Now if you're agitating that manure over every other day, that you're eliminating up this basically about all your mice. Uh, you still have a few on the coop, you know, you can't get rid of everything, just like a fly. And, uh, you can't get rid of every one of them, but it's uh, very controllable now for what we have. Uh, you don't have any mice when you haul out anymore because the manure's all worked up every other day, so it's... Uh
to save me at least 4,000 a year, so it's going to take 10 years to pay it off, but it's also going to help me with my health. I don't longer have to fog for flies, and anybody that fogs knows what I'm talking about. There. Talking with brown bear, uh, I convinced them I have narrow poles, aisles in my pit. Um, they made a special aerator for me. It's only five foot wide. I bought a Case 40 XT to match behind the narrow. That way I can compost inside my building to fit in between my post. And it's worked well so far for me.